following is an update and technical analysis on the U.S. Tech 100 futures based upon the daily interval, where I will additionally be deep diving into the U.S. 500 futures and in an equity market where China is rapidly uninvesting, divesting itself of U.S. stocks and treasuries, likely driven by the urgent need to secure cash to bolster liquidity in their volatile real estate sector that is just imploding. The move is further complicated by an unfolding and uncontrolled geopolitical event, and as a result, bright red sell signals are flashing off in the U.S. Treasury and bond markets, and here we are deep diving into what could be very vulnerable to spiking yields in the U.S. Tech 100 space. We're on the 11th of October 2023, where trading spot price 15,285.60, and I had made it clear that it was an objective short trade entry based upon this reactionary primary downtrend line correlated with the 15,281 price resistance which is then synchronized with the 786 Fibs retracement, call it 15240. And that was a great risk reward ratio, set some stops up above for the next leg and lower targets down to come. And here's the update. With the entirety of that trade being good for, call it a 4.4% crash to the downside. And that is a very heavy move for an entire indice there. And here we are trading upon the 618 Fibs retracement price support. And that will be a key inflection point really engaged with the technical momentum indicator space where you have a potential bearish crossover here and the moving average convergence right below its zero line threshold and a statistics 1033 just collapsing on an already confirmed bearish crossover there and i believe long traders and or bull traders need if playing the risk reward ratio on a bounce move to the upside call it an aggressive long trade entry would need to begin their scaling in process to really avert any further breakdown especially amongst the 15 558 price support which is a huge which was infused with reactionary lows being protected by long traders and old world traders like a great wall of China that was been an, an aggressive great entry points and each and every time it has been defended heavily by long traders with multiple reactionary highs reactionary lows really across the board there and that it will be a key inflection point where we had the breakdown I issued the breakdown sell signal we sold off hit multiple targets more of my targets had a great bounce off that key inflection point put it in a double bottom and it was off to the races only to be rejected very impulsively right back down to the primary trend range if we take that level out we're going to have confirmed more just damage being poured into the technical momentum indicator space more than there already was and i believe a ton of stops forced liquidations especially on a breakdown secondary sell signal down below on a rechallenging of the 50 percent fibs retracement price support level and that will be the line in the sand and minor price support we could just undercut right through it to go on to retest the 14 43 50 price support which will be heavily correlated 200 day moving average called the 382 fibs retracement price support that needs to be heavy, uh, defended heavily to avoid further breakdown taking you to the us 500 futures based upon the daily interval and we are at a hovering around a key inflection point the 382 fibs retracement call it 4264 price support and we have very significant primary reactionary uptrend line really based upon the October 2022 lows, call it multi-year price support with the 200-day moving average. That will be one of the most imperative inflection point transitioning points really to watch, to hone in on for any long traders and or bull traders to defend really at all costs. Whereas short sellers, bear traders, they want to see a solid daily candle close below that key inflection point, ushering in a secondary sell, sell signal on a prolonged move down to the benefit of the doubt primary reactionary uptrend line off the October 2022 lows and that has a ton more correlated with the 236 fibs retracement call it a dual line of price support and that in my opinion will be the biggest turning point transitioning point really of the year where bear traders short sellers want to see an additional additional breakdown third sell signal came off that off that key inflection point only ushering in a much larger breakdown sell signal and what my opinion would be in a breakdown sell signal that I believe would be so large we enter a recession.